what's up youtube pj back with another video and another story to tell you guys um lately whenever i was on my way from work i ran into a little problem and it just so happened to be a vacuum leak i got a check engine light on my way from work so i decided to plug up my tuner to it and see what the codes actually read and they happen to be a p1000 a p0171 and p0171 Four, I believe and if you don't know what that is then it's basically saying that both banks one and two are running lean and something dealing with I forgot exactly how to explain what the 1000 was but it's another thing dealing with the AFR of the car and so I took it to my buddy Jeff and he listened for it and everything today and we just found out that I have a leak in this elbow I don't know if you can see but yeah i have a leak in this elbow right here it's on the bottom side and luckily he has one new because he bought a vmp and bought all the necessary hardware for it but he didn't realize that the vmp does not use that elbow so i got it from him new luckily he had that and i'm about to go ahead and install that now yep so i think we found the problem and this was where it was leaking from as you can see it's dry rotted and all that and it just looks nasty but here's the new one and the new one is perfectly new so let me go ahead and switch this out start the car up and see if my check engine light goes away all right so now that that's been fixed hopefully i can start the car up and the check engine light will go away it might take a little bit of time for the car to get the check engine light to go away so i'm gonna drive it to my grandma's house where then i can start the install that this video is actually supposed to be about All right, y'all, so it's currently the next night, I guess you would say, and I just had to change out my fender liner because a few days ago or so, or probably a week ago, my fender liner started making this weird noise. Well, I think it was my fender liner, and it's because what I did was I put a dent in it and a hole, so my theory on that is the hole was letting air through from the bottom, and since it's dented, the air was catching in it and it was doing this real hard and real fast. And it was making this weird noise inside the cabin. And I didn't like that. So I ended up changing that out. Got a brand new one. You probably can't see it. Well, I know you can't see it because it's dark, but I changed that out. And oh yeah, I finally got me a jack. Went to Harbor Freight, picked up a jack because I was tired of asking people and just using their stuff and I finally got my own now so I could be doing things here in the garage now and one more thing before I head on out tonight and have some fun is I was supposed to be installing my AFR gauge today but that didn't happen because I realized that I do still have to take my dash out and in order for me to install my AFR gauge I would need to run the lines from the O2 sensor all the way up through the shifter and then through the dash where my steering wheel is and if I do that, then I won't be able to take the dash out. Or I will, but it'll be more of a hassle. So I plan on going ahead and changing out my evaporator cord, taking the dash out, doing that, fixing my AC beforehand, and then I'll get with the AFR gauge installed. And I know I've been telling you guys I was gonna install that pretty soon, and I am. It's just gonna have to wait until Monday. Today is Saturday night, so it's not too much longer. 